Hello, friends, and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela finishing up our Kansas cookbook for today. And this didn't go as planned, so <clears throat> I had to improvise. Uh, but first, before we get started, a shout out to all of you who have subscribed to the channel, all of you who are new and have subscribed. I appreciate you very much. Unfortunately, I don't have my list in front of me, so um, just know I appreciate every one of you. So let's just see what I have done so far. <clears throat> in the last video, I said I was going to put some recipe cards in and then come back and fill the journal with you. Well, that didn't work as planned because I had a little technical difficulties. I had to upload some videos, clear up some space, and I really needed to get this done today. So I went ahead and kind of got all the pockets in and popped some things in. So I'm going to, let's just concentrate on what needs to be done yet, and then we'll do a quick flip through. So I really thought about using these little clips as uh, dividers, but then and for, after further thought, because there's little, let's see, can you see that? There's like a little hole in there and it would be cute to put some ribbons on. But I'm thinking they'll just get lost. So instead we're gonna use the yo-yos like I did in the last one and we'll just use them, um, three yo-yos with three, I got goobies, with three of the milk tabs. And then what else do we need to do? We need to do our, um, spine dangle, and then I need to go through and put in some, I've got some words, some sayings, some quotes, that kind of thing. So we will do that. And I'm just using Fabri-Tac. These are all vintage yo-yos. And so we're just gonna do a few of them three actually and then we'll do a quick flip through so my apologies i i just had to get it done what i did in the meantime while i was waiting trying to kill time is my cousin had sent me a bunch of photos and uh, physical photos that she had gotten from my gave to my mom and then she um <clears throat> had sent me some in email so i printed out all of those recipes that she had uh, sent me all of the rest of the photos that she had and got those all ready to roll. Cut them all out. And there was a couple I'll explain when we do our flip through that ended up kind of being cool. Um, not what I expected, but I kind of like what, what I ended up doing with them. So, how's everybody doing today? I hope good. I sat here like I was waiting for you to respond to me. I'm just holding that down for a second. So let's see. I um, I am kind of getting caught up. I had all of these um, projects kind of out and ready to roll kind of down the my assembly line, if you will. And... I have only have, well, one I just added the other day that I'm going to do it. So I only have two on my desk left. One is, uh, yeah, I've been putting off because it's kind of, it's kind of a big one. And it's, it's more of a unboxing type of, let's see how this works thing. And I really don't know how it works, so... Oh, it could be a really interesting video, but we're just going to roll with it anyway. Okay, so we got these down. I thought I had some more fabric in here somewhere I wanted to address. Let's hold that for a second. It is so cold out. So let's see, this is, has it been raining for two days or three days? At least two. It might have been three days. So it's just like, ugh, the lustry cold out there. But Zenny out, and I was like, this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, here. I was thinking about putting this fabric flip right here. And then I have these button cards that I made. I still need to look and see if I 
actually did a video on that. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, I'm going to tape this because I think I'm going to make this as a pocket. So I'm just using some of my uh, medical tape. That might be need to be cut just a smidgey. There we go. So yeah, I printed that all out and I had some Etsy orders I needed to get packaged for shipping tomorrow. And so I did that. I was just stalling and stalling, trying to wait for these videos to upload so I could delete the old ones and free up some space. And I'm sure that my um, new boom should be probably be here. It probably is here. And I just haven't checked the mail yet. And I don't, it's coming into Amazon, so it should just be on the door. Okay, is there anything else I've missed? All right, no, I don't think so. Oh, this, gee, many Christmas, didn't I just say? <laughs> I wanna, I'm gonna leave that kind of loose in that one spot. There we go. Okay, so what we have left to do is add some words, maybe some advertisement um, goodies, and then we'll do our flip, flip, flip through. So what I decided to do on this spine is, oh, and I thought about maybe doing these too. We can decide that later. We'll do the spine first. Is just clip this on here and then have the dangle on it. So that should be easy peasy. So I'm just gonna set that up here for a minute and we're gonna get after this. So, where does this open? You guys have seen me do these before, very simple. So I just grabbed a bunch of, I've got some, this was, this came around a bundle of fabric. This is some of my um, seam binding that I dyed. Some of the fabrics that we used in this journal, and a little bit of lace, a little bit of velvet ribbon, some more of that, some little yellow. I just wanted things that would kind of coordinate. And then, let's see, are they all? So all I do, I don't, I just do not overthink this. It doesn't need to be crazy. I do need to make sure though that that is at the top. So all I do is take some embroidery floss a good amount and I tie it one time so it's like this and I flip it over pull it really taut it again and this time I'm going to double knot it so it stays fairly tight while I work on the rest of it and then I'm just going to wrap it around I could probably do it with my right hand instead of my left hand Just make sure it's all kind of tight and together. And then same with this. I went the wrong way. Hang on. So yeah, it's been a busy, busy day. There we go. Now, much better. So I did, let's see, I did these two videos and then I did a thrift haul video. It was, the, it was in a series. Um, those aired this, let's see, today, this is the 8th, 
Well, no, this is airing on after, oh shoot, after that. <clears throat> so it's somewhere around the ninth or so. And then I have, um, so I did that last one. Um, and then I took a bunch of photos, then deleted a bunch of stuff. And I just had this little dangle on here. And I thought it would be cute if we just kind of clipped it on. Kind of goes with the colors. Now, sometimes I will put little um, beads and things like that on it. I'm not going to do that on this one. Just because I want it a little more simple. And all I do is just put it on my clip. This The clip matches the, the piece. And we just stick it right on there. And our dangle is done. And then it can come off. So that's awesome and easy. Okay, so one last fabric thought I had. So we've got these here. And I've got a few that have some fabric on them. But do I do I want to add... Here's what I was thinking. Let me get to one. I was thinking it might be fun to add just a little bit. On these. But then that's already there. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave well enough alone. I think I will. I do like those. So... Now all we've got left is to go through. We'll flip through, and as we flip through, then we'll add some, maybe either some words and or um, some little advertisements and see what we want. I think we need something right here. This is one of the milk tabs. This is one of the biggers, biggers, <laughs> bigger ones. I really want to use this somewhere, so let's put that handy so we don't forget it. Well, I liked this too. Let's see, there's pie. What do we have for words here? <laughs> I like that, lick the bowl. I'm just reading. I'm doing lick the bowl. That might not be long enough though. Uh, how about the kitchen is the heart of the home? So in this first page, I have, so the cover just has that pocket, nothing in it. And this is, it's got um, the tucks back here, which I should probably put something in there so that they know that there's a tuck there. Um, then there's a pocket here, pocket here and here, and then inside here, there's two more pockets. So that one's kind of fun. <coughs> oh, I was doing a video this morning and I was it was ephemera, like, in you know, vintage paper. I don't know what it was. I just got all stuffed up. Okay, this looks pretty good. What about something here? Oh, I got a little piece of glue there. How did that happen? Where did... Oh, I bet it came from the... That's what I do like about Fabri-Tac is you can just rub it right off. Okay, so that is... What is this? Like a... I don't know. <laughs> I don't bake. Upside down cake. I don't know. Pound cake. Um, I thought I had one that had a bunch. Of, maybe that's the only one I got. Okay, let's look for a word. I'm not a word. A phrase. This is the same... These are different. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's cute. Take whisks. Oh, we're going to have to use that somewhere. Let's do it. I found, I used to cut all of these up as soon as I print, did a printable. And it just does not work for me because then I cannot find anything. So as long as I keep them paper clipped together. Okay, I don't know where that's going to go, but we're using it. How about count memories, not calories? I'll use that one too. Oops, I got a little crickety there. story of my life. I can't apparently cut straight. Yeah, so I don't have a I don't have a ton to tell. My, our creative director at um, our venue is getting married in a well, it'll be one more week. And so she's kind of taking a step back until after her wedding, because, you know, it's a wedding. She's got lots to do. So, we have a tour tonight um, for someone who would also like to have a wedding. And so, I'm going to run over there and do that. Okay, here's what I was talking about. Um, this is just, this is that page. It's got the, the side uh, pocket and then just the clear pockets. There's a couple tags and then one of the recipes that... Um, they sent, there's a recipe in here that I printed. Um, but then she had sent me some pictures and they were, they were sticky on the back and they were just on a piece of like stuck on a piece of copy, copy paper, but not well. And this is actually the shape that it was. And I thought, well, I wonder why it's like that. There were two of them like that. So then I was like, well, just embrace it and turn it into a pocket. So this is another one of her recipes, a little fabric flip. And I thought that turned out kind of cute. Uh, this one I'm just going to leave by it as it is. This one, I, um, it's Never Trust a Skinny Chef. Um, this is another one of the photos that came with it. These are all grandbabies of my Aunt Donnie. And we have a little tag in there and then another family photo as well. So my, um, Aunt Donnie, so she'd be my great aunt. And my grandma, <clears throat> who we call Mo, um, are from a family of four. And so, I don't remember. Hmm. I think Aunt Donnie might be the oldest of them. So, there's just a couple recipes back here. This is one of her grandsons. Um, I think she's the oldest... And then I don't know if it's my Aunt Anne or my grandma, but here, here the three girls are. And then there's, um, I, the youngest is my uncle. Um, but so it's my Aunt Donnie, my grandma, and my Aunt Anne. So in here, this was um, a picture of the, the grandkids. This is Inez and Courtney are my, gra my great grandma and grandpa. And so they were, the kiddos were climbing the apple tree. Well, it was also kind of sticky, and so I decided to make it into a tag. This is um, a recipe on some letterhead that was where my um, aunt worked. Uh, do we want something there just for fun? I don't think it needs to go there. I do like this, though. And let's put that there. I'm really wanting to use it. <laughs> and I'm calling this the Kansas Journal because they are from Kansas. My mom grew up in Kansas until, I don't know how old, I think she might have been, until like 7th or 8th grade, and then she moved to Iowa. Um, but most of her side of the family is all from Kansas, so. And then we just have... Those vintage pieces, and then we have just some recipe cards that they can use. This pocket has another one of her recipes. Um, this is one she had cut out. I used another piece of this on the front that was from that, um, like, table doily. We just added this. Nothing really in here. I'm feeling like we should put maybe that there. 
And then the, the um, piece on the right, that is um, all of, that's like my mom and my cousin. Well, I don't know if she's actually in it, but I know this is my uncle and I think that might be my uncle too. And then these are two of the cousins and then their aunt and uncle who I never, I don't think I ever met. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure no. <laughs> then I just had this, since it's the Kansas theme, I just thought it would be cute to put that in there, and it kind of went along with that. So we're just going to leave this like it is. This is my great-grandpa, BB. I don't know. Their last name was Bertrand. I don't know why we called them Grandma and Grandpa BB. I should probably ask my mom that, but that's always what we called them. And this is my um, aunt, and there's just... Um, three different pictures of her in her kitchen. It looks like there they were maybe painting the cabinets. Very 70s, 60s and 70s, huh? This is that Jack and Jill lemon flavor piece. I put a, made this into a pocket and then a tuck. I added this I had from my stash. This is another one of the recipes. I think that looks good like that. This I'm going to leave as it is. Uh, this is a little more sewing-esque. There's a sewing pattern on there. Um, this is another one of those pictures. It was just extra, so I stuck that in. I think I'll leave this as it is. This seems to need a... This says desserts on it, so let's see if we can find something that's... He's licking the beaters, so it seems, seems like we need it. Oh, there was one that said... Did it say lick the... Okay, do you see it? All we need is cake would work. Some of these... I, I printed these on this paper that had holes in it, so I lost some of them. Whisk me away. <laughs> Lick the bowl. Oh, that's lick the bowl. I don't, <laughs> okay, that might work. But there's got to be something else here. Let's just take all that. I think these are all... This would make kind of a cute tag. I accidentally cooked... Not cooked. I accidentally printed them like that. Okay. These are all the same. I don't know what happened when I did these. Okay, so none of those. Let's just see if we can make do. How about num num num? That seems fun. I'm really wanting to use that Scott's Market ad. I don't know where. Gosh, I'm being awfully quiet. Concentrating. This is just another one of my tags. This is from some of my vintage wallpaper. It's got a little bowl in there. I thought that was cute. Some more vintage pieces. These are all the recipes. This was already in there. And then I made that a tuck, so this is recipe and another photo. This is just nothing. It's just blank. 
<clears throat> just a couple of journal cards. This is another um, photo of my cousin. This is actually a fold over, so this comes off. So this wraps around both sides of a page and then you can use it as a double, double page tuck. I think I'm gonna cut this down. Let me just do that off camera here. And we'll just make that a great big journaling card to put somewhere. So yeah, it's kind of late in the day, which is unlike me to, to be doing videos, but I wanted to, oops, I wanted to finish this one up. Oh, wait, I was going to, around the edges. So yeah, we have a, I have a lot of fun videos coming up. I am, it's weird. I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm way ahead on my videos, like way ahead. I've got them all done for the entire month of May and the entire month of June. So that, and that what I mean by that is I don't have one every single day, but I have my three days a week, my Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I just did, um, those, that four part thrift haul. So I have some videos that, you know, will come out. It will actually be a week week's worth of videos. So I'm trying to decide. Um, I like staying ahead, but I it feels weird to be too far ahead. Um, I don't know. It just feels weird to me sometimes. So I'm trying to decide if I want to just... Because I don't want to stop doing my videos. I mean, if I'm going to be crafting, I want to do videos. So I'm thinking... Maybe I'll just fill in during the month of June. It is our uh, sale month on our Etsy shop. And so, you know, I could do one of two things. I could just, you know, leave it as is, keep doing my videos to post, you know, later on, and then concentrate on just continuing to add, um, you know, scan, scan some things, add them to the Etsy shop, add some more physical products. So take the photos, you know, get everything packaged or loosely packaged. I get them all to a point where I can add all my goodies when somebody purchase them, purchase them, purchases them and add, you know, like a personal note. Okay, that's more sewing related. We need, hmm. I had, I don't think, I think it'd be too big. I had one of those little people, you know, that we did. I uh, she'll be too big. Let's see what I got. Maybe we'll just stick this in there. Oh, that's too heavy. Hang on. I'm trying to find something fun. That's too pink. I'm just, what I'm doing, oh, this is what I was thinking. Let's see, she's too, she's too, um, thick for it to go inside of that. It needs to, she just needs to be her own little tuck. Ah. Well, maybe we'll just leave it and not stress about it. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. This is just a little tag that I stuck in this belly band. This is where this ended up landing. And I was happy with that. I don't think I need any words there. This is the three generations. There's, it's got, it got something. I wonder if I can get that off with my, that stickiness, you know, that I was telling you about that was on the, it's not Fabri-Tac. It's whatever was on the back of those photos. I don't know, I might have to, it's just goobery, and it's not coming off. That's a little bit better. I don't want to ruin it. 
And we just have a little photo there, more of those pages, more vintage recipe cards. And then I added a few extra um, so they could add it in. And then these are all the extra photos. I've got the um, whole reinforcers, more of those, um, because I'm going to give this to my mom and that's what she's going to get to do is put those in. <laughs> that's just a smidge too big for that. Come on, I gotta put this somewhere. That's too cute to cover up. Okay, let's go backwards and see if we can find a spot for it. I know you're probably all yelling, stop, do it right there. Hmm. this fit in here? No. I want to leave room for writing, so I don't want to get too crazy. I could just back this and stick it in there. Let's do that. I've got all of this extra. And then it becomes a journaling card. And, I mean, this is... I don't know how old this is. This newspaper. But now it will be secure. Let me get a little. Let me cut this real quick and I'll be right back. So yeah, we have lots of, I've got lots of fun videos and tutorials, some new things that I am trying out. So I don't know if there'll be more. There are probably going to be more process videos than um, tutorials or maybe just a bit of both because a couple of these, <laughs> I'm winging it. I'm making it up as I go. So that way, I like to do things like that. I like to try things. And I know that you guys are all patient with me and you'll be kind and, you know, laugh along with me. At least I hope you will. I think we should put some lace on this one. Let's see what I've got down here. Oh, or we could. Let's do one of these. Perfect. I like it. I think this is going to do it, guys. Everything else I've pretty much used. I feel confident with, you know, that it's not too much, not too overwhelming with too many tucks and pockets and secret places. And I think she's going to like it. And then she can add all kinds of fun things if, she, you know, as she feels, as she wishes. There we have it. Okay, let's do one final flip through. We got the cover. I'm gonna push this down just a little bit, so. We got that. The spine with the yo-yos. We've got our dangle. Inside pocket. You know, if my mom wants to give her a card or something, that would be a good spot for it. One pocket, this is all finished. This is gonna be blank. Got that pocket blank. Got that triple pocket. Side pocket. Belly band. Pretty little fam family photo. Journaling. Vintage recipes. More recipes with the pocket. That feels good to me now. That kind of closes up the gap. Pocket. Another photo pocket. You know, that's another thing to think about. Don't be afraid to use photos as your pockets. I mean, as long as you can always back them up to make them um, a little bit stronger. 
fabric flip. I thought, you know, she did, she did do some quilting, so maybe that she'll want to put some quilts or something in there in addition. All right, and then plenty of space. It's not too thick that she can't add, you know, quite a bit more. It's not alligator mouthing at all. So I'm happy with that. So there we have it, our Kansas cookbook finished. So I hope that you enjoyed that. And um, thanks for coming along and playing with me. Um, I appreciate it very, very much. And I will talk to you next time. But until then, remember to take time to just be. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.